Hello everyone, it's Kathy with Paper Phenomenon. I'm here sharing the Picture Perfect albums. Um, this one is Style 2. So this is the icon you want to look for in my in my shop, Picture Perfect Volume 2. If you want to pick these up, they are wonderful albums. There's a series of five volumes in Picture Perfect. And this one is Style 2. So I showed you this a while ago. All right, what's so wonderful about Picture Perfect albums that in one tutorial, you get both styles. You get the portrait and the landscape style. You can use these for absolutely anything you want, any theme, any occasion, for yourself as a gift, whatever you want. So again, a while back when I was making my handbags, I showed you this version. This is the portrait version of Picture Perfect Style 2. Now I'm going to show you the landscape version. This is a graduation version. And let me just quickly look up that paper. It's Dream Big by Fancy Pants and the embellishments are by Bella. All right, so Dream Big by Fancy Pants is a paper collection and the embellishments are by Bella. This, I already gave you the paper collections on, th on this one. It's uh, Pink Paisley Moonstruck and I showed this several times and I will link you down below to the final review of this album. I'll do a quick, quick fl flip through, uh, but if you want to look at in depth, uh, I'll link you down below, okay? So here's the landscape version of Picture Perfect Volume 2. Beautiful cover, tells the story right off the bat. You know exactly what's happening here. Uh, there's no guesswork here, right? You know exactly what's happening here. This is what your album should look like when it's full with photos. This is full of photo mats, okay? And I will share with you. It's really, really beautiful. I love this album and I say this about all my albums because I really I try hard to bring you different things fun things interactive things that you haven't seen before or that haven't been done before and this one is another one of those albums that is just fantastic okay so beautiful paper here I love the red the black the white and the gray absolutely stunning hats off perfect for the grad and then dream big beautiful this is a little bit of a wallet style um undercut page and what i call an undercut page is anything smaller than the base page all right or half page it all depends uh how i design it okay this one has a series of stack pockets and this one is fun because it's see-through you can cover it see that see-through right there you can cover it if you want to with pattern paper and just have that see-through uh, uh, paper there or if you just stick the pattern paper to the back then you can see whatever is in there okay I personally like that I and and uh, I appreciate it like that or you can put a photo on here which would be so perfect and then you have spaces for four by six photos and of course uh, five by seven a cropped down version of a five by seven and below this is just a great way to show you how to use this pocket okay this is a, a double photo mat obviously for smaller size photos super cute and it is a stack pocket and look at this how darling again you don't it I started with 4x6, 4x6, 4x6. It had to be about the 4x6s. But I am absolutely, notice how I, lately my albums, I've been encouraging you all to crop your photos down, to use the smaller size photo mats because it creates uh, variety in the album. And it's so much more fun to look at three images like this and this and this as opposed to just all of this, right? So now all of the albums that I'm doing now, recently, um, I encourage you to do both, not just four by sixes. That I've been doing forever in 10 days. And again, it's time to switch it up and make things a little more fun, more versatile and not so uh, exact. Okay, and this is just super duper fun. These tabs are made with the punch board, the We Are Memory Keepers punch board. And then that closes up nice and tidy. And look at that on the back. Of course, you can put a four by six on here, but um, why? When you have all that room, there is a little spot here for you to tuck something in there, but it's just super cute like that. You don't even need to. Here, there's a nice 
kind of not so shallow pocket. It's a half page pocket and room for a photo and or a embellishment. Okay, it all depends on how many pictures you have. And this is one of those half pockets here again. And that makes it fun because when you lift it up, look at that. Okay, you can even put a die cut piece in here just to make it a little more interesting. Just super cute. So if you have a graduation present that, you, that you're that you really late on, you can do this one. <laughs> All right. You may be a little late on yours. But uh, it's just really cute. And the paper is just absolutely perfect. Perfect. Look at that. Combo photo, paper, and embellishment. One embellishment, one embellishment. And how sweet is that? And again, these are little tuck places if you want to. Or you could just uh, stick the photo right underneath there and stick it down. And these are all little tuck places. Okay. Just absolutely gorgeous once again. Okay. And then you flip it over. And then we've got what I call a perfectly sized slanted pocket or angle pocket. Not all angle pockets are created equal, guys. You may hate the angle pocket. But until you try my angle pocket, do not discount them just yet. All right. Most angle pockets that you see out there, your pictures are falling out. You can't see half the picture. You can't put an embellishment on it. This is perfect. Your pictures stay in there. You can embellish. You can see the picture and you have room for even, you know, it's a pocket. You have even more room for additional things. Beautiful collaging here with embellishments. I absolutely love doing that. And here again, a little tuck place. Uh, items are strategically glued down so that you can still put your photo under there. Remember, white photo mats go away for the 4x6 photo mat. Again, fun see-through pocket here for photos. Or um, this one is see-through all the way. As you can see here, you can stick the photo in there and seal it just for the different media or medium, right? You have a different... Uh, texture here. It doesn't necessarily have to be a pocket. Again, you can slip the photo in there, two photos front and back, and you have this different material here in your in your album, which is fun. Again, creating fun interaction and just cool things to look at. Okay. There is the back side of that. Just lovely. That half page with photo mats. Beautifully done. Again, this is a play on my uh, deconstructed envelope, or like I like to call with pages with bumpers. So nothing falls out. Just super cute and darling, darling. And again, that fantastic, perfectly sized angle pocket. Again, you can see photo and pocket, and you can do some embellishing. Photos, photos, photos. Gorgeous. Another one of those fabulous, fabulous wallets. Okay. Super pretty. And these are my new favorites. The, uh, the different size photos, multiple photos on one photo mat. Okay my favorites now again different things for you guys different things look at that how beautiful this matting is again half size page beautiful embellishing there gorgeous okay and some more uh, rooms for photos, beautiful paper, opportunity for the paper, just gorgeous. You know something I love, What one of the things that I, one of my pet peeves is not using fl florals in masculine albums, but Fancy Pants got the floral right here. All right, it's a nice soft florals, almost kind of like a little water coloring. Looks like water coloring going on in the, in the design of this paper. It's not so a romantic floral is more of like an outdoor you know outdoorsy look as opposed to those florals that look very as opposed to this this is a very romantic floral that I wouldn't choose this paper for a masculine album you know a couple's album yes but not a straight-up masculine album for a graduate it's 
there's a gender, right? So um, this paper works both for girls and um, for male and female because the floral here, again, it's not romantic. It is more just kind of outdoorsy, if that makes any sense. All right, it makes sense in this noggin, in this noodle. Look at that, how fabulous. And again, ending it with that beautiful uh, undercut page that's loaded with all sorts of, sorts of fun stuff and goodness. And you just can't get enough of this. You can't. Beautiful. And wrapping it up, wonderful spot for a picture. And obviously, uh, some embellishing. So look, Picture Perfect 2 in a graduation album. Graduation album. All right, look at all the photos in here. I didn't count them, but if you counted them, great. You can absolutely fit a ton in this album. Um, one thing I want to point out to you all about my Picture Perfect album series or my volumes. This is what I call my three hinged albums. There's only three hinges in here. Uh, these pages are very thick. All right, and when I say thick, it's that it has a very... Uh, the page assembly, right, or the signature, if you will, right, the signature page, the signature right here is very thick. There's multiple layers to the signature. If you want to make more than three pages in an album, you must make modifications to your spine, to your binding system, and your gussets. All right. Do not use the same spine or the same gusset spaces if you increase it. I do not recommend these three page albums to go more than four pages, four pages max, six pages. Ah, you're pushing it. What's going to happen with six pages is a lot of people say, why does my album do this? Okay, it's because you don't have adequate spacing in between your gussets. Your spine is too tight and you have way too much crap in there. All right, too much. It's there's no room. It's like wearing a tight pair of jeans that you're like, you know, why does this fit like this? They're too small. Okay, it's the same thing. You have to make proper accommodations for adding more. When I size my albums for you guys, I size them for this, for what I'm showing you. Okay, if you want to do more, then you have to make those adjustments. You have to do that math. So don't leave me a comment asking me what that math is because I'm not going to tell you. I don't know. I have to do it. Okay, so you have to do that math. All right, guys. So remember the three hinged specifically to my three hinged albums because the pages, the page assembly or signature, whatever you want to call these, they're really thick. And I do them like that because I want you to get a bunch of flips because although it's a three hinged album, you've got like 20, 15 to 20 flips here, right? And it just, it makes it more than a three page album. This is like 15 pages right here. All right. Or like I like to say 15 flips. So a quick peruse of this one. Let's peruse this one very quickly. So gorgeous. Again, this is the Moonstruck paper by um, Pink Paisley. Here's that same uh, undercut page, but in the portrait version. Really sweet here. This I, I like. I love doing this. Um, this tape and foil technique here, but my gosh, no matter what I do to this tape, it doesn't, eventually it's the stickiness goes through and I can't, I've done all sorts of things. Believe me, the powder, the, this, that, everything. It's still eventually over time, the sticky goes through, but it is what it is. I love the gold. I have to deal with it. So notice no white photo mats here, just place photo here because there's no need for it. All right, here's that undercut page. There's a photo mat, no need for the white photo mat. If this is a gift, you do it to one thing and one thing only, and then you do it on the black. Notice, notice this, notice this. Same exact album, same exact spine with photos, without. You will see some white photo mats in here because I just can't help myself, but this is the difference, okay? If you leave the white photo mat in there, this is what you're, you're gonna get this once you add photos, which is a terrible album, not good looking, all right? If you don't put the white photo mat in here, this is what you get, all right? So with photos, without photos, look at all that room, 
no room here, okay? Perfect example for you guys. So there's that, here's that room for either the four by six or a crop down version of a five by seven. Again, same idea with the landscape with the landscape but this is in the portrait version see what a completely different look this gives you different completely different okay sorry that slipped in the wrong way and you can do this like this or the other way around whichever way you want and then again that slanted pocket again if you don't think you like slanted pockets just try mine let me know what you think again some more stickiness because of that foiling that I used but it just works I love the way it looks I can deal with the stickiness okay and a quick 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 review because I think I've showed this to you a couple times you must be like I'm sick of this album Kathy so there it is with just pattern paper the one the previous one I showed you with photo mats plain 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 so you can uh, uh, add photos and here plain 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 okay for photos this paper is gorgeous that's magnetized right there see here's some some photo mats because I just wanted to show you the pocket of course and plain plain photo mats and lots of shiny stuff here Let's see if I can show you how truly beautiful it is there you go without the glare okay with the glare it looks so crazy I also showed you this this is one of those wax seals I love it it's not something you use for every for every single project but if you have it it's ni nice to have it to use it on the projects where it applies where it looks good okay and that's all I got for you guys this is picture perfect volume 2 in both the landscape and the portrait version and I hope you love it remember when you get picture perfect albums you get both tutorials for both albums for the landscape and the portrait version all right I hope you enjoyed this video this is Kathy with paper phenomenon and until next time